Uh, so this chair and fire break uh, for Haven's Hospice has been um, over four days as opposed to the five that we usually do. Uh, so the students have learned uh, a lot over the four days uh, with us. So we've learned all the standard stuff that we usually learn, hose running, um, first aids, lowering by line, uh, hauling and loft even. Uh, so it's been a really fun packed busy week uh, as well as the breathing apparatus search and rescue uh, in the chamber. I enjoyed facing my fear by going up the ladder and I like to go in the dark room even though I felt blind. I would do it again because I got to do social skills and I learnt about CPR. Yeah, they do some fantastic work and to be able to give people with life limiting illness um, uh, an opportunity to, um, to engage with the work that we do as fire rescue services is a real privilege. Katie was really nervous leading up to it because she didn't quite know what to expect. Um, and then on the first day she came home really, really excited about what she'd achieved. Um, I think she's really enjoying the teamwork with everybody and she's made some really great friends. Um, yes, yeah, she's more she's slightly more independent and she's keen to tell me what she's learned, so it's, it's allowed us to have some conversations that we didn't have before. She's quite a quiet kid, so having her come home excited and tell me what she's done has been brilliant. to set a group up to come and do fire break. Well, I didn't know what fire break was, but after this week I do, and well, I think it's great for these children to be given the chance to participate in something like this for the week. They started off on Monday all quite tentative, not knowing each other, not sure what to expect, but as you can see, by the end of the week, they've all come together as a team, they've learned how to work as a team, how to communicate as a team, and just how to look after each other throughout the week. I think they've represented Little Haven and the hospice completely, really well. And you can see by the passing out parade, the work that they have done this week and how they got it to an exact point when they've been able to do it all perfectly. It was, it was good fun and it was good bringing their casualties out and it was very lifelike. It's a really good idea and I think it should carry on for other people. The kids have thoroughly enjoyed themselves. Uh, I think it's been uh, four days with us that they, they wouldn't have done uh, anywhere else. Um, and I think that experience for them is something that they can take away um, to put in a scrapbook uh, as, as a, a key life experience uh, with the process. Uh, it's been a pleasure to instruct them. They've just taken on board exactly what we've said. Uh, so all demonstrations, uh, they've watched, listened, and then carried out the task to uh, a very high standard and uh, it's, it's just been a real pleasure to work with uh, the, the students on the course. Very impressive. I was uh, surprised they'd learned quite so much in such a short space of time. Yeah. They've uh, obviously knuckled down and been well instructed. Um, well, I'm immensely proud 
you know, not only of Essex County Fire and Rescue Service, but all the kids were paid for hospice. Well, we wouldn't be able to do, you know, uh, what we do as Essex County Fire and Rescue Service without the dedicated contribution by many, many staff. We have 120 staff now that are on secondary contracts to support this work. Um, and looking forward, we'd like to invest more in being able to make a real difference in young people's lives.